Well, hi there, boys and girls. Come over and sit around me. I'm going to have a nice story for you guys today. Remember last week we talked about um, this is his birth, uh, Christmas, and how he was born and how the angels came and appeared to all the players, uh, Mary, Joseph, the shepherds. Um, so we got to see all that and saw him born. Um, so now we're going to see him as a little boy. Um, it's about the only story in the Bible that uh, shows him as a boy um, growing up. And we're going to read that story and, and see what it has to tell us. So we are working off of our Promises of God Storybook Bible. And we're going to go right into our story. Jesus will always obey his Father. Promises treasured. Jesus started out as a baby, worshipped in a manger, but he didn't stay in that manger for long. Jesus was like every baby in a lot of ways because when God came to live among us as a human, he became all the way a human, but sta still stayed all the way God. Jesus is the only one who has ever done that. So Jesus had to eat and probably got fussy when he was hungry as a baby. He also had to take naps and do chores as he got older. One way he was very different from us is that he never ever sinned. He always obeyed God, always obeyed what God wanted him to do. Now, do you remember when we first started reading this book and we learned about how there was only one God in the whole world, but how God is three different persons who are all completely God? There is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Well, you might have figured out by now that God the Son is Jesus and that God the Father is the one who put Jesus in Mary's belly. We haven't learned about God the Holy Spirit yet, but don't worry, we're going to pretty soon. And here we have a picture of Joseph doing his woodworking and there's Jesus helping out. This is important because there was one time when, when what Jesus' mom, Mary, wanted him to do was different from what God the Father wanted Jesus to do. Jesus knew what God the Father wanted him to do, though, and that's what he did. Here's what happened. When Jesus was 12 years old, Joseph and Mary and Jesus and a whole bunch of God's people had gone to a city called Jerusalem. That city was very important because it was exactly in that in the spot where God had promised Abraham his promised land, his, his people's land would be. So it was a reminder that God kept that promise. J Jerusalem was also where the temple was, which is where sacrifices were made and where God's people learned about him. They had all gone there for the Passover, which we had talked about when Pharaoh finally let God's people leave Egypt. When it was over, the whole group of people began to travel back to the town where Jesus lived with Mary and Joseph. A 12-year-old boy today definitely has to travel with grown-ups. And that was how it was back when, back then when Jesus was 12 too. Only their group was so big that Mary and Joseph couldn't see Jesus was with them. And they thought he was with some of their, uh, some of their relatives and friends. Well, the thing about grown-ups, then, then, that is the same as grown-ups today, is that, that they get very scared when they think their child is lost. And after a whole day of traveling in the gigantic group, Mary and Joseph realized they couldn't find Jesus. They were so scared and upset. They returned to Jerusalem and couldn't find Jesus anywhere. And here's Mary and Joseph, and they're calling for Jesus and looking for Jesus. Then after three whole days since they had seen Jesus, they found him in the temple. He was sitting with the teachers, asking them questions about God's law. But Jesus wasn't only asking questions. He was also t telling the teachers things about God's law. A group around him was listening. And they were amazed that this young boy could understand so much about God. Of course, they didn't know it was because he was God. But Mary and Joseph were super upset 
when they saw Jesus. They told him how worried he had made them, and how much trouble he had caused by not going with them, as he should have done. But Jesus said that they should have known he, known he would be in the temple, because that was his father's house. Jesus was growing up, and as he grew up, he knew the time was coming when he would have to make choices that honored who he was as God and what he had been sent by God the Father to do. Jesus knew he had to obey his Father. Sometimes those choices would not make sense to Mary and Joseph, because they were just people and weren't God. Mary and Joseph didn't understand all that was going to happen, just like many others weren't going to understand. But Jesus went back home with them and loved them well, as he did all people. But Mary knew that Jesus leaving them to go to the temple was important. So she never forgot it. And she held it close in her heart as a sign that God was at work keeping his promises. So, now for our questions. Oh, before we do that, there's a picture of Jesus talking with the teachers and teaching the teachers. So, here are our questions. What were some things Jesus probably did as a baby? That's right. He ate. He cried. He had to have his diaper changed. All those things. What was one thing that Jesus never, ever did when he was a baby, a boy, or a man? That's right. He never, ever sinned. Ever. And what made Mary and Joseph upset and scared? That's right. They couldn't find Jesus. They, they thought they lost him. And where did they find Jesus? And what was he doing? They found him in the temple. And he was teaching the teachers. And, and talking with the teachers. So, that is our story for today. Um, we're just going to have one story, because next time we will see Jesus as a man, and he will start his ministry, uh, which is very, very important. Um, so, we are going to uh, give a little prayer, and then we'll go to Miss Laurelin for some singing time. So, I want you guys to hold your hands, close your eyes, and bow your heads. Dear God, thank you for coming down as, as a baby and growing up as a boy and into a man, a man who never sinned, who always did the right thing, who always obeyed God no matter what. We pray, Lord, that you will give us soft hearts so that we can obey you too in whatever way that you want us to to obey you. Amen. Okay, so we're going to go to see Miss Laura Lynn for some singing. Um, this has been a good time. I hope that you guys come back tomorrow, next week when we will uh, start in with uh, some more lessons. Until then, be well, be safe, and remember, God always loves you. Bye, kids. Hi everyone, thanks for the story, Brian. Are you kids ready to praise God with our songs together? Let's get started. Love, 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 oh love the Lord your God. Love, 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 oh love the Lord your God. Aiden and Alton, love the Lord your God. James and
said love is patient. God said love is kind. God said love is patient. Love is kind. God said love is patient. God said love is kind. God said love is patient. Love is kind. Make yourself small and whisper. Love is patient. Love is kind. Sit up and clap your hands and say it. Love is patient. Love is kind. Raise you to the sky and sing it. Love is patient. Love is kind. God said love is patient. God said love is kind. God said love is patient. Love is kind. God says love is patient. God says love is kind. God said love is patient. Love is kind. Make yourself small and whisper. Love is patient. Love is kind. Sit up and clap your hands and say it. Love is patient. Love is kind. Reach up to the sky and sing it. Love is patient. Love is kind. Do you have your scarves ready? All right. Here's mine. Okay. You might see people do this with them. You know that's not what we're going to do. Here we go. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm going to let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Won't let Satan whip it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Won't let Satan fade out. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Good job. When I'm outside playing in the yard, I can talk to God, I can talk to God. When I'm inside resting in my bed, I can talk to God, I can talk to God. I can tell God all about my day, ask Him to help me to live in His way. Then I love you is what I say. God anytime. When I'm at home and I can't play with my friends, I can talk to God, I can talk to God. When I'm at home and I cannot go to church, I can talk to God, I can talk to God. I can tell God all about my day, ask Him to help me to live in His way. Then I love you is what I I can talk to God anytime. I can talk to God anytime. I can talk to God anytime. Well, let's get finished up. Here we go. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. time.